Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be benchmarking the latest AAA title from Feral, which is Company of Heroes 2, published by Sega and developed by Relic. So, a couple of things first before we go into the benchmark. The NVIDIA drivers are the latest on both platforms, 355.06 on Ubuntu, 355.60 on Windows 10. Now, if I'm not wrong, the OpenGL version being used on the Linux side is 3.3 or above, I believe it's 3.3. And on the Windows side is DirectX 11 or D3D11. One last thing to note is that this performance stress test is not indicative of the full gameplay experience. When you're in the game, it's not going to be 100% this level of difficulty and fidelity in the screen. This benchmark is solely to run the game at the maximum level of uh, rendering, difficulty, AI, all that in one scene. You will see this kind of stress occasionally during the game, but what's expected is that it should be a lot less than what we're going to be seeing in the benchmark. So we're really just pushing it here. So let's go ahead and see what the results are. Alright, so starting off, we're going at 1280 by 720p with minimum setting. We are seeing on average about 5.9 frames per second difference, which is not a lot actually, to be honest. I was pretty surprised. So when we max everything out at 720p, this is when we start to see a bigger difference and we're seeing about 14.62 frames per second difference on average which is still not as much as I thought it would be. So cranking it up, at 1080p minimum settings we are seeing about 9.11 frames per second difference which is once again not as much as before but it is increasing from 720p the difference here we're seeing. At maximum settings 1080p this is where we see a bigger uh, difference with, with 12.75 frames per second difference on average. So on the left we're seeing Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right we're seeing Windows 10 now I'm starting this out with 1080p minimum settings. Because of how short the benchmark is, I can include both minimum and maximum settings tests. So as you can see, they both run at rather pretty much the same fidelity. They look exactly the same. And the frame rate is not that far apart. We see it ranging from anywhere between 5 to 10 frames per second difference at any given time. Windows does take the lead here for, for the most part, but it's not that far ahead, which is pretty surprising. It means Feral has done a pretty good job here. The more interesting part is when we start to max everything out after this. So minimum is a pretty good deal right now. So moving on, we are now going to... So now we push everything to the absolute maximum at 1080p. Ubuntu once again on the left and Windows on the right. Here we're seeing the frame rates range anywhere between 10 to 20 frames per second difference with Windows leading. So it's not consistently greater than uh, 20 frames per second, it's spiking, so both are rather unplayable once I max everything out to be totally honest. So if, despite Windows advantage here, it's still not enough to make it playable when I max everything out. This game is pretty heavy on VRAM usage if I'm not wrong. Overall it looks like Feral have done a pretty good job in optimizing this port. It could be a little bit better, I'd love to see the frames per second side by side. Alright, summary time. So the results aren't as far apart as I thought they would be. So when we're maxing out the game on both systems, we're seeing on average about a 10 frames per second difference. But when we bring things to the lowest settings, everything off for minimum, then we see that Direct3D11 is quite able in taking the lead by a surmountable frames per second. Hopefully Feral can improve upon that in the future. If they can, I hope they can. A couple of other things to note is that the graphical settings that you're provided with for the Windows side and the Ubuntu side, uh, the Linux side, are exactly the same. So that's a really good point to make here. We're not being left out of anything here. The graphical options are the same. From what I've seen, the images from graphical side, both when maxed out, look exactly the same on either system. So we are good there. It doesn't look like anything is being left out as far as I can tell. And lastly, I did notice that the loading times are a lot faster on the Ubuntu side rather than the Windows side, and I think this accounts for two things. Uh, first being that on Windows we're using NTFS on the hard drive, while on Ubuntu we're using X EXT4, which is, uh, I believe, it's slightly faster than NTFS. On top of that, I think OpenGL has something to do with this. When the shaders and the scene that's being set up, I think, I could be wrong here though, I believe that it's slightly faster in producing the scene. Even with that said though, it definitely doesn't seem to be able to match D3D11 just yet when we come to pushing this and I'm not sure if this is due to the drivers, the porting or just the game in general and how it's uh, built from the ground up 
it was developed solely for Windows at first, so please take that in mind when you're thinking about this. Overall, this is pretty awesome. The favorite games from Relic for me would be Dawn of Wars, but Company of Heroes is pretty darn close in mechanics. I would say get this if you're a real-time strategy fan. Uh, <laughs> oh, words. Real-time strategy fan. Uh, it's overall pretty good. AMD users are going to be struggling. They say they provide support for Intel Iris Pro, but I don't have that IGPU, so I can't test it. Uh, so that's it for this benchmark video, guys. I hope you found something useful or educational in it. Any mistakes I've made, please let me know in the comments below and provide me with constructive criticism. Thanks for watching.